What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at it again. And I told you in this video, we had some kind of special and I'm looking right at it. And I don't know what year this is and I know absolutely nothing about this car other than I have seen it on YouTube before. And apparently it's kind of a special one. A non-runner, 160,000 mile Volkswagen Phaeton. I hope I'm saying that right. You guys know I don't know my Volkswagens, right? Look at these deep dish wheels, man. I mean, those suckers are those suckers are insane. Those are massive. This is a big car, guys. She is gorgeous. Pirelli P zeros. Two seventy five forty nineteen on the rear. It's not hail damaged. It's it's not. Ah oh, man. Wow. Guys, I want this. I want this so bad. And I know I shouldn't because most likely this is one of those cars that'll, uh, you know, break your bank account, especially if you don't know anything about them. So this is probably a, a really bad idea. Oh my goodness. Is that a timing belt motor? Looks like you got to take the whole front end of the car off just to get... Look at this. You could barely fit a hand down in here. Oh, wow. Well, how much you want to bet it's here for a timing belt issue, huh? <laughs> yeah. She's got oil. She's got oil. And there's a place to jump it from. You guys think we should hook up the jump pack? Well, hell, let's do it. Let's see what it does, if anything. All right, well, here we go. I'm going to believe that this one doesn't run. Um... <laughs> pretty sure this is not gonna run but oh well we'll give it a shot anyway right but we have no power in here I don't think I don't think there's anything going on in here at all nothing okay well then that's interesting hell it could be here for I don't know maybe an electrical problem yeah this doesn't seem like it's doing anything I'm not even getting a spark. Nothing. Well, that, that is very interesting, guys. Huh. This may be one of those things we'd be better off going directly to the battery instead of under the hood here, because I'm getting nothing. I am getting nothing. This thing goes up for auction in a couple hours. Yeah, we've got nothing. No power. Well. Okay. We may need to hook it, uh, hook my special tool into the OBD reader. Yeah, because you can't get into the trunk. I guarantee you the battery's in the trunk. Wow, this thing is, uh, this thing is big. This thing is really, really big. This is nice, guys. Wow, I love it. Let me see if I can figure out where the battery is and uh, maybe we can get this thing jump started. Well, we had some success, but not enough. Here's your instrument cluster. As soon as I'm hooked it up, I get something here that says system fault, visit workshop, and then everything turns off. So there's been nothing that I've been able to do to uh, get this thing running, sadly. That's, that's a shame. Look, you got your, got your books right here. Good Lord. Wow. CD discs. Navigation disc. Got a screwdriver in here too, or a pick. Wow, that's a... Oh, good Lord. Well, she's nice, guys. I'm not going to lie about that, but uh, there's something going on with this that... Go figure, I just don't understand. You hook power up directly to the jump post there and it does nothing. Then you uh, try to force the trunk to open by hooking up through the OBD and like nothing. You heard some clicking and dinging and then immediately followed by system fault visit workshop. Yeah, well, I guess that's it for this one. Comment below, what do you think? Of the Volkswagen Phaeton. Next, we have a 2007 Lexus GS350. It's listed as a run and drive. All right. She's got gold all over. I like that. 
Good looking car. I don't see any hail damage. 138,000 miles on the clock. This is clean. I like this. I like this. You get a paint correction. Man, this car is going to look sick. It's got good tread on the tires. It's got a few parking lot dings here and there as to be expected for something older. All right. Hey, let's check, let's check out the interior, man. Let's check out the interior. Uh, I already know it's going to need a jump start, right? Of course it will. Of course it will. It's going to need a jump start. Oh, those doors are heavy. That is premium right there, man. That's premium. Take a look at this interior. Woo. Oh, that looks nice. That looks real nice. I wonder why this one's here. I wonder if this is like a repossession or something, you know? Yeah, this is this is this is very nice, guys. She's in good shape. She's in good shape. At least <laughs> cosmetically. Cosmetically, she's in good shape. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves here. It is listed as a run and drive though. With 138,000 miles, that seems like awful low miles for there to be anything major going on with this. Um, okay, so yeah, they covered up the whole engine bay with plastic. That's nice. Let's throw a jump pack on it. Let's see if she runs. All right, moment of truth. Hopefully hopefully we have better luck with this than we did the Phaeton. Phaeton, sounds like something from Star Trek, man. I bet I'm saying it wrong, best like Phaeton. Phaeton. Yeah, we'll see. You guys are hammering in the comment section for it. All right. Okay. Actually runs quite well. All right. Touch screen? Yeah. English, yes. I agree. It's even got a little navigation, man. How sweet is that? Let's see if the AC works. You guys know it's, that's like first thing I got to know is the AC work. <laughs> Otherwise, I am not even. Oh, wow. That is already. Oh, wow. That is ice cold. Yes. I'm digging this, guys. I'm digging this. Important window works. Steering feels good. The brakes feel good. Oh, she's smoking. She is smoking something fierce. Yeah, let's go back here and take a look. <laughs> oh yeah, that could be bad. Let's see, what do you guys think that is? Is that oil? Maybe it's just running kind of rich. That's Yeah, it's probably just running rich. That's my guess. She is just running a little rich today. Oh yeah. Yeah, just a little rich, guys. No big deal. That'll burn off. Give it a minute. <laughs> you guys know what that is. Oh, wow. Yep, I can smell it, man. That is coolant. The crazy thing is, is she is running super smooth. That's wild. That's wild. Normally, when you got a head gasket or whatever leak like that, uh, normally the engine just starts coughing and spitting and sputting and it ain't good. It ain't good. Leave it to a damn Lexus though, man. To still be purring like a kitten with coolant blowing out of the damn exhaust. Ah, uh, dang. Oh, uh, this would be a good candidate though for a uh, Blue Devil, right? Could throw some Blue Devil in it and see, uh, hey, can it fix it? It's running great. Look, we don't even have a check engine light on. Look at this. <laughs> Sitting here with cold air conditioning. You wouldn't know. If you didn't get out and check or you didn't see it in that reverse camera, you, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know at all. All right, well, you know, buyer beware. And it's got these tags on it, you know what I mean? Saying, hey, warning, warning. This car was in the shop for something. Man, this would have been a nice little car for Jessica. Oh well, 
I guess we'll move on to something else. Next on my list, something you just don't see every day, a 94 Subaru Legacy L. 189,000 miles on the odometer. When's the last time you've seen one of these? Uh, be honest now. You haven't seen one of these in forever. Wow. And one of the things I always look for, AAA stickers, man. I don't know what that is. Guest room records, but okay, okay. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, did you really just pass up a Smurf Blue Mustang GT for a Subaru Legacy? I sure did. I, sh I sure did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mustang. No, I'm not interested. Yeah, yeah. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Let me pop the hood on this. I, I just We're right here anyway, right? Let's just pop the hood and see. Oh, wow. What happened to you? You poor car. Well, someone sure stripped it down, didn't they? Dang. Yeah, they... <laughs> strip this sucker down i'm gonna guess maybe the uh maybe the engine's no good i don't know anyway back to the subi man back to the subi it's listed as a run and drive we got to check out this interior and see how good or how bad it is uh-oh it's locked there we go actually the interior is in great shape it really is look at this the seat's not ripped up too bad. It's got a little little tear right there. No big deal. You got those lovely seat belts. It looks like we got a broken cord to the seat belts underneath it. So I'm gonna guess that doesn't work. Wow. Oh, let's climb in. What do you think, power? I'm gonna guess no. No, no power. Automatic transmission. Let's pop the hood. Let's take a gander. Uh, tires, yeah, you know, it's got them. <laughs> I don't know what else you want. It's got tires, so. Oh, she's been sitting a while. You could tell, oh boy. Yeah, she's, a, she's got a lot of oil under the hood here. That's okay. It's supposed to do that. It's supposed to do that. The good news is though, it still has a battery, okay? It still has a battery, which means we could put a jump pack on it and see if it wants to run. Let's do it. All right, we got the jump pack hooked up. I hear the cooling fan coming on and off, cycling for whatever reason. There are spider webs and stuff all over this car. It has been sitting a long time. Like there's no doubt this thing has been sitting a very, very long time. Here we go. Wow. Yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna work. The belt's broken. Important window work? Yes, it does. We have power mode. Manual mode. I don't know where, there's gotta be a power button somewhere, man. Where? Where's the power button? Anybody? Power button. I need the button for power. All that does is do manual. I don't know where the power button is. Oh, I'll tell you what I need though. Let's get some of this old school air conditioning, man. Max AC. Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? The AC works? Oh wow. It has cold air. The horn works. Oh dude, are you serious right now? There's even money in it. There's money. Oh, wow. Yeah, the AC is ice cold, guys. I'm not even kidding. AC is ice cold. Is she going to gear? Yes. Oh, my. You're kidding me. It's, it sounds good. It smokes a little. I see a little bit of smokage, but you know, uh, the fact that it's running is honestly kind of surprising. Wow. Listen to that. 
Subaru MPFI 16 valve, baby. Unreal. Unreal. What do you think? Transmission problem? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Just seeing this thing is just kind of cool, man. Uh, the alternator is not doing very well. Yeah, alternator is... Uh, hold on. 8.9 volts. I'm surprised she's running with the AC on at 9 volts. All right. We'll go ahead and shut her off. I don't know what more you want from the old girl. Wow. Cold air. Runs quiet. That's impressive, guys. That is very impressive. All right. Well, I guess that's going to be it for this one. Let's move on to the next. Now, here's something we've never shown on the channel before. We've got a bunch of generators, small and big. We'll get over to the big ones in just a minute. I don't know what these are here for. I'm assuming they've all fallen off a truck or something at some point. Most of them look to be in pretty dang rough condition, guys. But we got generators everywhere. This one, this one cosmetically looks to be okay uh, I'm, I'm sure it's probably not these things honestly they look like someone's just done torn them apart so many times look at this like they're just all taken apart guys we got a lot of generators over here man this may be something y'all are interested in i don't know if so well you know tell me and if not well we won't show them again uh, i'm gonna guess that one's burned up yeah i'm gonna guess all of these are burned up guys <laughs> yeah that's just that's just, i don't know this one looks all right this one looks this one looks all right uh i don't know i don't know man. i don't know nothing about these things man uh these over here they're like uh, these must be retired from at and t uh these are these are big generators guys i mean when you gotta have a damn trailer to pull your generator that's the real deal right there that is the real deal let's see what they got inside Woo, buddy yeah 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 it's no joke right there man I, I don't know what you need these massive generators for but obviously there is a need for some serious electricity in remote areas look at that at least everything is very accessible in here man i mean honestly everything is very very accessible I wonder if these are listed like cars since they since they do have engines, right? Are these listed as run units? Like, obviously they don't drive, but maybe these are listed as units that run or don't run. I'm very interested in this. I don't know. It says 1990 Cato. Kato Light UK. I don't I don't know man. I don't know, but you could tell they got a bunch of these out here. It's gonna be retired ATT units. I love them. They're on trailers. They got good tires. And I'll bet, I'll bet, I'll bet these work. At least some of them. I bet some of them work, man. Again, I don't know what you would need a massive generator like this for, but I'm sure somebody out there, one of you, you got a use for it. You got a use for it. Look at these things, man. Just row after row after row of them. Okay, this one right here may not be in the best shape. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that one right there may, there may be something wrong with that. Good lord, look at the size of that motor or generator. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wow, I mean that thing is huge, guys. That thing is huge. This belonged to Singular Wireless, really. Who remembers Singular Wireless? Didn't AT&T buy them out? Wow, no kidding. No kidding. John Deere engine. Wix filter. This thing looks practically new, guys. This thing looks practically new. I'm sure it probably doesn't run anymore. Who knows? But uh, 
You've got that that bull, what do they call it, the bulldog lock or whatever. You got all your AT&T stuff. We got some boats. Uh, we've already been through most of the boats. We do have some farming stuff. I don't know, any of you, any of you out there farmers? I don't know what any of this stuff does. I have no idea. They look like, they look like rakes. That's what they look like to me. They look like giant rakes, man, on wheels, you know? What the heck is that? I don't know. I don't know. Why would why would this be salvaged? Maybe it got run off the road or something. Okay. Aside from that, we got this thing. This thing's massive. I don't know what it is either. I have no clue. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. But we do have some tractors. I know what a tractor is. This one burnt down. And this one burnt down. And then, um, what is this? Some kind of cedar? Is this like a seed planter? thing here i'm guessing that's what that is i don't know yeah yeah i don't know anyway i think we have run through our cars the trailers are all the same trailers that we had before so there's no reason to film those let's go take a look at the semi trucks real quick guys and uh I guess after that, we can get up out of here. So we're just gonna do a quick rundown of the uh, the big trucks out here. So you guys can see, you know, some of the wrecks. And again, we did this once before, and I just wanted to do it one more time, man. Uh, we'll, we'll do it again, but this isn't gonna be a regular thing. I just want you guys to see like, and it's not just semi truck drivers in particular, like it's any of these people driving these big trucks out here, man and you don't know the circumstances behind the accidents okay i'm not here to say that uh you know all cars are at fault and i'm not here to say that truck drivers never make mistakes i'm just i'm just out here to show the reality of the situation okay and that is it's a dangerous job it's a dangerous job that keeps these folks men and women alike away from home more often than they would like but it's what they do to put bread on the table. You know what I mean? And you see this and it really just, it, it's dangerous for these guys and gals out here, man. It is, it is. And, and I wanna make sure everybody knows that I know where all my stuff comes from, all right? And that I'm grateful still every day for the men and women that go out here and drive these big rigs even some of the smaller big rigs, but still big rigs, bigger than cars. You know what I mean? I am thankful that these people come out here and keep our economy rolling. Because let me tell you something, uh, I don't care how eco-friendly or eco-conscious you want to be. Without these big diesel trucks, this country would stop. It would come to a screeching halt like you wouldn't believe. So keep that in mind when you're out there getting upset with these big diesels riding down the highway okay they got a job to do and that job is to keep our economy rolling and sometimes it costs them the ultimate price it's a hell of a risky job and even if you manage to make it through your whole career and you never have a serious wreck serious accident you lost a lot of time with your loved ones you sacrificed a lot of time to keep this country rolling. And I don't know how many of you out there appreciate that, but I'll tell you something right now, I sure as hell do. Thank you. Thank you to all the truck drivers out there. And I know I got a few of them that watch my channel. I didn't even realize it. I didn't even realize it until I made that last video showing the wreckage. And I had a bunch of truckers reaching out on, on the comment section you know, telling me thank you for recognizing him. So I think it's something we need to do a little more often. We need to call more attention to these truck drivers. Maybe some of you cars out there will pay a little more damn attention, you know? Let me tell you something. You know what you don't do to a semi-truck? Let me tell you what you don't do. Let me give you a real good piece of advice. Number one, don't ride beside them for any longer than you have to. And you know why? It's not even just for the trucker. Imagine one of those big tires blowing out next to you. That could be the end of you, okay? You shouldn't be riding next to a semi. If you need to pass him, go around him as quickly as possible and get out of his way, all right? Let me tell you something else you don't do. You don't zip around a semi truck because he's going too slow for you and then hit your brakes in front of him, slow down. These guys are carrying, I don't even know how many thousands and thousands of pounds, they're tons. I don't know how many tons these guys carry behind them, but I can tell you this, 
they're not going to slow down or stop like you will. And if they hit you, well, it's going to be a bad day for you and your family. So just don't do it, man. Give truck drivers their space. Treat them like motorcycles. That would be my, my best piece of advice. Well, actually, that's horrible advice because people don't care about motorcycles anymore either. Honestly, guys, give them some damn room. Keep your distance and mind your business let them do their thing don't be a don't be a jerk off to these guys they're out here they're out here working for you you don't even realize every time you go to your favorite grocery store and you pick up your produce or you pick up some toilet paper i mean you pick up your your vaccinations where do you think all this stuff comes from man look at look at this you know stuff like that that's it's just sad. It's it, it's real sad. These truckers, they they got a lot on their plate. They got a lot on their minds all day, every day. I think the least we can do is appreciate them. Don't tailgate them. Don't hit the brakes on them. And just let them do what they're doing, man. Leave them alone. They're, they ain't out here bothering nobody. They're doing a job. And all they want is to be left alone and let them do their work. Truckers, if nobody else out there appreciates you, I do. Thank you so much for the sacrifice that you make for this country. Honestly, thank you. I appreciate you, and I guarantee a lot of other men and women out here appreciate you as well. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, click that bell notification icon, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, links down below auto auction rebuilds and until next time stay safe out there everybody i look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one